Holy cow, we're coming down the home stretch. Oh, yes, wait before we do that. What else do you have? I have a lot of things. What didn't you bring? So a lot of talk about the uh, Fuji X-H1 camera these days, um, and specifically because Fuji has kind of dipped their toe into the video uh, side of things with the X-H1, and it's getting recognized. And I discovered that there's a, a, a cool rig system for it. So look at this, baby. This is pretty cool. Um, that is nice. You know, I've got a wooden handle, and I can hold it and do video. To this system, I have a small HD monitor attached. This all goes on to a small rig cage and I've got the sound system and I got a handle so you know you can do all sorts of things and I have the new 80 millimeter macro lens attached to this so uh, we're going to be playing with this uh, in the future and giving it a shot to see how it does I've done a lot of photography with the X-H1 and uh, we have a story too coming up with that as well as I, uh, we're going to do a little bit more with the macro lens because macro is getting to be so much fun now that they've got so many good lenses out there so it's pretty cool and do you have a macro there? This is my 120 2A. Ah, for your equivalency. For, for your Olympus. Olympus. Yep, that's pretty small. It's a really good lens. Yeah, sure. And speaking of macro stuff, this is something that just came my way recently that assist in my macro photography, and this is an Adaptalux. And this is kind of cool, because you just kind of plug these systems in. You're not going to hurt me, are you? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> look at this. So, what this is designed to be, so this can go on the accessory shoe of your camera, and you got your macro lens out, and you say you got your, well, I'm going to just light up my whiskey glass. So, you can kind of point these things whichever way you want, and uh, do some cool lighting that way. So, there, you can control all the different things along the, the sure top you here. <laughs> you can make them dim and make them brighter and do all sorts of different things. But they're, it's a pretty cool system. And it's Adapt Deluxe. Uh, the information is below for this system. Uh, another system we just recently tried, um, this is the Smove Pro. And it's designed to work with a, a mobile phone. And it's once more a very small um, stabilizer and gimbal kind of thing and you can do all sorts of cool stuff with it but I've used this a couple times and it's pretty fun. DJI has the DJI Osmo out there. There's a whole slew of yeah. different ones out there. Uh, they're getting to be very popular uh, so it's, but it's, a, it's pretty cool when you use these because you can go anywhere you want and run and it, it, it stabilizes yeah. out pretty nicely. This is a, another device. It's called Loom and um, let me open it up. And it's a little cube. So you buy this little cube and it plugs into your iPhone and it becomes an instant, incident, 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 incident um, light meter. And it's really uh, pretty accurate. You can change the different variables and uh, get right uh, different light readings. Can you, but, run, can you run credit cards on it? <laughs> probably. Uh, but one of the things that really comes important with it is there's a color meter. That's now, incredible. this is important if you're doing cinematography and you want to balance out uh, your color and know what your color is or want to measure what color is so that you can go back and adapt it later on. Um, so it continually runs. So you have a graph and you can actually see right now in here we're about 34 and the more I move it, it changes. Um, so you have uh, that and I can do an average. So you let it run for a while and then you just hit the average button and it stops and puts it out there at what the, the new temperature is. So this is a rather expensive device, but considering what real color meters cost, this is it's quite fast. a steal. It's, um, it's, it's accurate, I haven't tested it. Yeah. So uh, it's accurate, it, it's from a great value. Everything I've read, it's, it's pretty damn accurate. Um, 
The problem is, and of course it worries me, is that it comes and puts in this little case and anything this small, I tend to lose. So um, I am going to outfit this with a lanyard. There's a little area back here and maybe even put one of those tile devices on it so I don't lose it. Because <laughs> uh, I tend to do that quite a bit, unfortunately. Um, always losing stuff. Take a look at this. Okay, this is uh, not a drone controller, but this is made specifically to work with Capture One. It's a, a tangent wave. Tangent makes uh, these devices for video editors, uh, control panels, and so forth. And this can actually be used with uh, video editing uh, on your home computer, but Capture One is also uh, mapped it all out so that if you want, you can use this with Capture One to make uh, minute uh, changes, like all the different um, things that you would have as far as adjustments go. But Capture One has a really good color uh, system in it, and you can use the balls and the dials here to colorize your images. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. It's crazy. It is, and, and it's fun to use. There's a question whether I can like still is, be is faster Capture under mouse. Is Capture One that hard to use that you need something like that? No, <laughs> but there's a number crazy. of devices made out for Lightroom and everything too like that. Seems, so. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Looks cool. It's cool. It, looks it does look cool. Set it on your desk. It's yeah, going to look like cool. Look, I mean, but it all lights impressive. up. There's a control panel. Here. Oh, it lights up. <laughs> yeah. <there's> so, <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's okay now. Right? Yeah, it lights up. All right, so it lights up, and there's some <laughs> pretty cool things that you can do with that. How many of us need to do um, selfies? And uh, this is from Manfrotto. Um, you can either put your iPhone on here. I have the Sony RX0 uh, attached to this right now with a microphone and a separate light. And it's a really clever device because you can hold it with your hands. But this is made for all those guys that are doing social media, uh, instant uh, live feed. So you can mount your iPhone on here and you have a little light that lights up and I have a little orange filter on it, warms it up, makes me look like I have that golden California suntan. Oh, yeah. um, and you got a micro, big little, uh, it's a little Rode microphone I believe that's on here. So if you're into making your own videos for Instagram and all, uh, here you go. It's a pretty fun device. And one other fun thing, and this is a challenge that many of us face these days. Is this this? Yes. Now, as, um, a lot of us are taking trips and uh, we're facing weight limits on uh, airplanes, like seven kilograms for a lot of European airplanes. And it's pretty hard to take a, a whole set of uh, camera systems on for the weight. So uh, Pelican has made this very lightweight case, which uh, I've now used to uh, transport uh, video gear and other things uh, to many places. I actually have uh, my 6500 video set up in here. Um, so this is checkable. So this is a system now where we have different cameras in here and we load it up with the lenses and things that we can't take with us on the airplane. Uh, we don't put batteries in here. You cannot check in your lithium ion batteries. They need to be with you. They also the make department. a specific model that you can carry on. Yeah. But this is uh, from Pelican, it's lightweight. Uh, I've now run it through uh, the airline several times, going to do it again next week uh, on a trip we're taking and it holds up very nicely. Customized uh, sections in here uh, and this um, it works out pretty good. So. Uh, if you are challenged sometimes with how to take all that gear to Iceland or some faraway spot where you have weight limitations, you know, carry your camera and your batteries and maybe some of your lenses and throw the extra stuff in one of these things. And um, I haven't had one issue yet checking this thing through. It's built like a tank. It's well cushioned and everything seems to hold up pretty darn well. So and th this is available by Pelican. They also come with a product called Trek Pack. Uh, Trek Pack is an almost in infinitely based uh, configuration. You can make any compartments, any size, trapezoidal. It's uh, pretty amazing. You can get these cases with the Trek Pack insert. And we'll, we'll put the link for the Trek Pack on there, which is really kind of cool because it, it's a lot easier than clipping them together with Velcro because no they Velcro, clip together. Yeah. And uh, that's the most frustrating thing with a lot of these. And I'm sure everybody that's uh, tried to put a backpack or a camera case together with Velcro knows how frustrating it can be to try to put Velcro uh, sections in. So I love and doing especially landscape photography, uh, long exposure work, get blurry clouds or blurry water and so forth. And uh, I've written about this once before, but uh, this is a, a filter system made by a company called Wine Country. And um, they do a really cool job. And essentially you buy uh, adapter plates 
like this, and it goes on the front of your lens. And then you just, with a set screw, set that in there. And then this then is now on your lens. Now it has a built-in polarizer, so you can have a, a nice wooden dial up here that you can r regulate your polarizing. And in addition to that, what they've done, which is completely different than a lot of the other filter systems out there, is they have put the filters into holders. So you're not ever handling the edge of the glass like you are with a lot of the other systems. And then they just kind of slide in. That's nice. And that nice. Uh, you can have several sets. So I have uh, not only the neutral density filters in various degrees, but I also have in bigger cases, some of the variable densities. So, you know, those also slide That's right sweet. in there. That's really well made. And uh, the nice thing is because you're not handling the glass, you've got an edge around everything and it all sits in there. I and keep it, your eye on that. <laughs> and, it, and it locks in uh, with these buttons here, <laughs> or locking that, buttons. So when you slide them up and down, they lock in. So this is made by Wine Country. Uh, it's a darn nice system. and. It really makes handling the filters out in the field uh, a lot easier. It comes yeah. with a nice little filter pack and so forth. So nice. uh, that pretty much wraps up wow. our toy shop for today. A lot, of we have a lot of toys. So Jody, Phil, thank you very much. Thank you. For being here. What a blast. Uh, thank you, all you viewers. Thank you. You can, once again, if you would like, we ask you that you subscribe and you can like also check that little bell that notifies you when we make a new video. And uh, until our next On The Rocks episode, we'll see you on the Luminous Landscape. That kind of wraps it up. I believe we've covered, oh wait, one more thing. Please. Oh God. Oh, one more thing. It's like Columbo. Right? <laughs> yeah, one of my favorite tools. How many of us are out there with neutral oh, density? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> one more thing. <laughs> you do that pretty good. <laughs> <laughs>